Now, just above the patch bay is the user configurable monitor section that you can create and control via Yukon with your control surface like the S6. Now, if we dial into the monitor profile, we can actually go and configure any of the inputs, the outputs, the speakers, fold downs, incredibly comprehensive, whether working with mono or stereo sources or all the way up to immersive uh, in Dolby Atmos. If we take a look at the monitor interface here, we can see uh, within our control room, we have various sources. So for example, Pro Tools HD, HD native is showing up as one of the sources that I've created. And um, we can define this if you take a look any of the I.O. that you've populated into the Pro Tools matrix shows up as a possible input that you can source from. So you can take a look and see that the HD native, in this case PTHD, is coming from the DigiLink inputs one and two, and those are labeled as such. We have some I.O. coming over Dante from the outputs of Pro Tools, including iTunes and SoundMiner, and that's being sent over Dante. And you can see uh, just another input coming in to our virtual control room. We have other sources coming in over the network. Uh, if we want to add an additional source, we can just go and say add new source, and we're going to call this laptop. And let's just pull this off of the second rig, which is coming over Dante, and we'll just say this is coming over set channel seven and eight. We can easily assign this to a network audio feed that is arriving at our, at our monitor section. So just below the sources, I have outputs, and I can add sets of speakers for near-field monitors, and you can see I've got uh, DA1 and 2 being used off of that DA card uh, to go to a simple stereo uh, set of speakers. Now, I can also have 5-1 uh, monitoring, 7-1 monitoring, all the way up to immersive audio for Dolby Atmos with 64 individual speakers I can control directly from the matrix. Now, I can also take advantage of fold downs. I have a full uh, capabilities to be able to uh, down mix between 5.1 and stereo or 7.1 and 5.1. And I've got a whole bunch of preset configurations that I can access quickly and then apply to a speaker set. Now within the monitor profile, once I've created my control room, now I can go to think about talent mixes, Q mixes, and uh, I can feed, for example, uh, a RedNet AM2 over Dante and, and create a custom uh, virtual mix for the talent, which is comprised of any of the inputs we described from MADI to Dante to analog to AES EBU and really give the talent what they need. So once we've dialed in our configuration for monitoring, control room, fold downs, outputs, talent mixes, we can actually go and via Yukon control every aspect of this uh, directly from our control surface, whether that is an iPad running Pro Tools Control or our full flagship control surface, which is Pro Tools S6.